What's up everybody, my name is Shannon and I am still waiting for my Seder and today I want to tell you everything you need to know about Ahsoka by E.K. Johnston. So obviously this video is going to have lots and lots of spoilers in it for not only the Ahsoka novel but probably maybe a little bit of Clone Wars, maybe a little bit of Rebels, I'm not entirely sure so if you're sensitive to that at all you can check out my spoiler free review and my reissue of this book right up here. So the biggest takeaway from this book is that we see Ahsoka become Fulcrum. We get to see how she gets to that point because originally, like in the wake of Order 66, she's left the Jedi Order. She's not a Jedi anymore. She's not a general. She doesn't know who she is or where she's going and all of her friends are dead. She doesn't have anybody and she's had to leave like Rex and his team behind. So she doesn't know what exactly she's doing, where she's going in this new world. So that's where we pick up with her. We pick up with her just kind of in hiding. She's just trying to keep moving forward. Forward. She's just surviving, but you can tell that there's something inside of her that's making her want more, but she doesn't know what to do. She's on the run from the Empire. She's always leaving. She's always leaving people behind, but she wants so badly to fight. And we do learn in this book that one person cannot fight the Empire alone. That leads her to finding the Resistance. Actually, well, the Resistance sort of finds her, and she sees that this is her chance. This is what she's been looking for. She's been wanting to do something to fight back, and this is the way to do it. She knows people. She understands people. She wants to help them be connected. So she's going to become Fulcrum. She's going to become that spy intelligence network that's going to get the resistance moving because as of right now, they're not moving very far ahead. They don't really have anybody in place. They're having trouble like gathering information, having trouble communicating with people. And that's where Ahsoka is like, you know what? You need somebody for this. And I am exactly this person. And I really like seeing that. I really do think that she goes on a very interesting arc in this book. And that's really, really awesome to see. I also really like that we're being introduced to the Inquisitors a little bit. We do have the fifth brother in this book. And we are seeing that the Empire is wanting to round up any remaining Jedi, which we kind of already knew. But they're also really focusing on children. And that's something that Ahsoka is really not okay with. And that's something that she wants to help. Help. She goes back for this one little girl that she knows has force abilities and she wants to keep her safe. She wants to keep all of the force sensitive children safe from the Empire because she knows what it's like to be hunted down by them. We actually see this reflected in Bale because Bale wants to keep Leia safe. He wants to keep Luke safe. He knows that Ahsoka doesn't know anything about them, but he wants just as badly as she does to keep them safe and to let them have a brighter future. So I do really think that the book Ahsoka does a great job bridging this gap. Again, there are a little pacing issues. There are some weird bits here and there, but I really love that it does show this. I do think that if you haven't watched Rebels, it doesn't make as much sense. I feel like it makes a lot more sense going back through having seen her entire arc in Rebels or at least her season two arc in Rebels um, because it just makes a little bit more sense. But regardless, it does a great job bridging the gap. And I do highly recommend it if you haven't read it yet, but you already know everything you need to know about it. But please let me know all of your thoughts down in the comments below. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe so you can talk books with me every week. That is everything I got for you today and I will see you guys next time.